There is nothing more annoying than a rubbing disc brake rotor. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two simple solutions to help solve the problem. And best up, you're only gonna need a couple of bits of equipment. First up, a piston resetting tool, or if you don't have one of those, a plastic or nylon tire lever will be okay. And then a four millimeter Allen key to allow you to adjust those caliper bolts. The most common reason for a rubbing disc brake is because the caliper isn't centered correctly. We can quickly and easily check this by simply looking down between where the brake pads are and we should be able to see that one side is contacting the disc brake rotor. To center the caliper is a very simple process. We take our four millimeter Allen key, loosen off the two bolts at the back of the caliper, and then we can apply the front brake lever with a firm action and tighten those bolts back up correctly. In the instance of this Shimano caliper, they're best to be torqued to about eight Newton meters. Nine times out of 10, that will be the solution to your problem. But if your disc brake is still rubbing, well then you have to move on to our next tip, which is to use a tool such as this to push the pistons back into the caliper. To do so, you simply insert it into your caliper and gently ease the pistons back into the caliper itself. You can do this with the brake pads in place if you're very careful. You could also use a plastic tire lever to do so. But the best option is to remove the brake pads by undoing the pin and sliding them out of the way, enabling you to push the pistons back in easily. Once the pistons have been pushed back into the caliper, you can reinstall the brake pads and reinstall your wheel. And then a couple of pumps onto the brake lever and you should have a firm lever action again. And you can spin the wheel to check that your brake isn't rubbing. If you're still finding that it rubs, it could just be a case of recentering that caliper again and you should be good to go. This one's working perfectly. So they have it, two simple methods to stop your disc brakes rubbing in less than three minutes. Hope you enjoyed this maintenance video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and remember, subscribe to GCN Tech for all things bike tech related.